Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got the mic. <laughs> Alright, so we got the mic. Now it's time to get the, the video. Oh my god. Uh do I just move this out the way? Oh, oh, uh, nah, that's not really working. Mm. Alright, let's just let me screw. Let me do this. Alright, what if I do this? Mic right there. Alright. So we figuring out the mic. Do I just one second guys? Might have to roll with it. Ah dang, you can't see me if I move that. Uh, let me try to figure out this one more time. Um, uh, OBS. Anybody know how to do this crap? Let me see. I think I do it like that, right? Right? Right click. Uh, not sure. I had figured it out last time. All right. I guess we about to just get to what's going on, no seeds. All right. So right now we're on, I think you guys in the, in the um, Discord. And let me go back to my Discord for us to see what you guys wanted to look at. All right. I think somebody said, said fuse. Let's go ahead and look at that. At first, first, let's check out uh, SBE. We already got Fuse right here. But let's check out SBE. You know, that's the one that we on right there. We in on this play. So we're going to scroll over to that. All right, here we go. So this is SBE on the four-hour chart. Uh, it's still trading inside the golden zone on the Fibonacci sequence right here. So let's go ahead and move that out a little bit more. This is still going to be a support and resistance zone right here. Just because... It's a lot of uh, price action. It touches once right here, and then it trades sideways in here for a little bit, and then right here for a little bit. So it did break below the uptrend um, channel right here that we had drew out a couple weeks ago. It did break below, and it's starting to trade down in the 618. The 618 is the uh, the orange zone in the Fibonacci sequence, and then the golden zone is the, the zone that we like to buy in. But if we do pull back to the 618, that's when we double up and get a little bit more. So now that I see... Um, SBE at a I need to move this uh cord out the way. Let me see if y'all can still hear me. All right, bit. All right. So now that uh SBE is at a let's trade it sideways. It's consolidating. I like that it's consolidating. It's down here in another um kind of support zone let's 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 draw out this um chart right quick a little rectangle right around here all right because this is a lot of price action right here right here right there and then it's trading sideways consolidating right here so we're going to be looking at sbe in this zone anywhere from in this zone between uh 35 dollars and 44 dollars as a good buy zone well for me it's a good buy zone for me it's their Discord. Yeah, I think I uh, I think I uh, pinned the Discord at the top of the chat. Uh, it's the pinned comment at the top of the chat. Just click that, join the Patreon. Um, all right. So if it pulls back to the bottom of the six hundred thirty-four dollars, I'm gonna dump in. Probably I'm gonna try to pick up at least another five or ten shares of SBE if it pulls all the way back to thirty-four. But this is a good little zone area that we're in on SBE. This is just a quick recap. Nothing much is really happening with the company right now until they change the the ticker symbol over to charge point. So, and then when it when it changes to charge point, I think SBE is going to pull back a little bit. At least it's going to touch the the 180 days uh, EMA right here. It's going to touch this, which is this green line. It's just not enough data yet. It's going to eventually touch this. Either it's going to pull all the way back to this, or the green line is just going to eventually catch up, and then that might be a good bounce support line for it to go back let's look at the chat blessings thank you robin or no, ronnie my bad ronnie robinson 
How you feeling about APXT? I love APXT. Ain't that the ones uh, merging with the cloud service with Microsoft, right? APXT? All right, let's go to Fuse right quick. Bam. All right, so we haven't did it. Uh, it's just not enough data on Fuse to really draw market analysis. You just got to follow the company. Yeah, Fuse been just been trading sideways anywhere between um, $12. Let's just draw out. Out of line, yeah. It's just been training. My line. It's just been trading in this in this sideways channel right here until some some more news come out from Fuse, um, about who they're merging with, and about who they're merging with. That's when we'll get a big jump in price. So picking up Fuse at around. Let's see. Are the ARC ETLs overbought right now? Just bought into all of them. <laughs> hey, yeah, uh, ARC is, I don't think they're over. I mean, yeah, they're overbought. They might be due for a little bullback, but I know ARK, what is it? ARKW? I oh, know that one's going up a bunch because she invests into uh, Bitcoin ETLs with ARKW. I hate I can't get my camera working. What if I do that? Maybe that'll work a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, so yeah, I suck at this, guys. I'm gonna figure it out next time. But um, I know ARKW. She invests into um, cryptocurrency ETFs in ARKW. That's why that one's going up so high because Bitcoin went from around twenty five thousand dollars to fifty thousand dollars over the last month or so. So that's why that one's going high. ARKK. It's doing pretty good as well, too. I mean, she's just, it's an active ETF. She's not just sitting around waiting around for companies to go up or for companies to go down. If they're doing bad, she's going to get rid of them. Well, ARK Investment is going to get rid of them. And if they're doing good, she's going to buy more, ride the wave up, and then sell. She buys and sells stocks every day in the ARK active ETF. So it's hard to tell if it's overbought or oversold. So that's, that's, that's ARK right there. I know ARKG is supposed to be more stable as uh well she do have um ARK they do have a a index fund a ETF index fund that's not active that's the more stable one but you're not going to make it's less risk let's just put it like that it's less risk investing into that but uh ARKW is active I think I just put out a video about that uh, go watch that video and, and tell me what you guys think about that. All right, so that's Fuse. Let's go to Tesla. I've been looking at Tesla for a while, so it's about time for us to pull out. Because Tesla is under um, 800 It went all the way up to an all-time high of $900. What's up, Zeke? Uh, Eric Chambers, what's up? Money line is here Fuse merging with. Is that confirmed? Because I, I heard rumors that they was going to uh, merge with um, Block BlockFi. I'm going into Pepsi at 129 and below. I'm going to pull up Pepsi after um, Tesla. But Tesla, I mean, Tesla was at $900 and everybody thought they missed out on the opportunity. And now Tesla is finally under $800 and it broke below and it's trading below the 180-day EMA right here. So let's just... um. Pull out the Fibonacci sequence right here. If you guys don't know what the Fibonacci sequence is, it's, it's the it's the universe golden ratio. Photographers use it. The universe uses the Fibonacci sequence, and traders uses traders using the Fibonacci sequence. So it did break our uptrend line right here. If I said it broke our uptrend line right here a couple weeks ago, that it was gonna fall all the way back down to the green. EMA and used that as support. It did use this for support for a little while. Let's go. And then it broke down and now it's trading below the 180 day EMA on the one hour chart. But let's look at the four hour chart right quick. All right, so we still got a little ways to go on the four hour chart. Um, pulling back to the golden zone would be $720. If it pulls back to $720, I will pick, I'm going to try to find a way to buy at least 200 maybe 300 dollars worth of tesla 
life with Danny. You think Tesla going in lower? It could. That's what we're talking about right now. It could. Um, if it does pull back to 720, I'm going to try to at least get half a share of Tesla. I'm going to uh, find some money, uh, do a couple side jobs, and, 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 and find a way to at least get half a share of Tesla if it pulls back to 720. And then if it does pull all the way back to the 618, which would be near the the EMA support line, all the way down to $666, I'm going to buy a full share of Tesla. If it ever reach around $666, $650, i am going to buy a full share of Tesla. I don't know how. I don't know how. But if it do, I'm going to... Because I'm not scared of great companies that have a pullback. All right, we all knew right here. If you if you watch my last video, you know that uh, Tesla was oversold right here on the RSI. It was probably time for a good pullback, especially when we seen that the MACD had crossed right here. It kept trading up, but we knew it was time for a pullback, and it's finally pulling back. And Tesla has not yet reached the bottom of the RSI. It's not yet oversold. It's almost there, but it's not there yet. But um, once it gets there, it might be time to buy and pick up Tesla because you guys know Tesla is not just a car company. It's an energy company. Um, they got a lot of things in the work. Um, they got the uh, Tesla solar panels that go on the roofs. Once they roll that outside of California and start getting that out to major cities, we're, we're going to be we're going to be uh, making a lot of money when Tesla finally goes back up. So getting it at six hundred and sixty dollars is on sale. Yeah, my bad, guys. That's me um, opening up a beer. I had to, I had to grab me a little, a little sip right quick. All right, let's let's take a look. Tesla is supposed to go to fifteen hundred, so now it's a buy zone. Yeah, I mean, yeah. If you're a believer of any company, then then whenever it has a sell off, whenever it has a pullback, uh, and you see it on sale, that's when you're supposed to be getting in. That is the buy zone. All right, so a lot of you guys are looking at CCIV. That's that's more of a. Hmm, I have sixty shares in EO at twenty eight. You you the man, Lily. You the girl, Rosa. I really can't tell. And I wish I got in EO at twenty eight. I think I did get in EO at twenty eight, but I only bought like one or two shares. Stupid. So sell cover calls on what? What am I selling cover calls on? Let me know in the comments. Oh, you can't even see my my face. Oh my god, what am I doing? Oh my god. Maybe if I move. Oh, let's go. What if I do that? Uh oh, I think I figured it out, guys. I think I might have figured it out. Let's see. We're gonna see. My bad. It it it, it takes a little while for my stream to. Look, we about to see if I got it. Uh oh, uh oh. Let's see. About to see right quick. Hold on. Dang, it didn't work. Fuck. All right, we're gonna figure that out. If I do that, I don't know. I really don't know what I'm doing, guys. To tell you the truth. I don't know. All right, so what we're we looking at? Pepsi? PepsiCo? Go back to the chat. Guys, if you want to be in on when I drop these market analysis, like on Tesla, um, which one I did a market analysis on? I do one on Walmart. If you if you want to look at all of these market analysis that I drop pretty much uh, every once in a while, well, well, at least once a week inside of the Discord, um, join the Patreon. I left a pinned comment to, in the um, in the chat. Just click that. Join the Patreon. You get access to my my charts. Um, when I buy and sell stocks, what else I be doing over there? I do market analysis over there. And pretty much, if you ask me any question over there in the Patreon, I answer almost immediately. So Clorox right here. I think we're on a swing trade on Clorox. We should have waited until it pulled all the way back to the 618. But that's cool, though. We bought it in the go-to zone. I think Clorox could eventually bounce back all the way to 202, 203 in the next week or so. So that'll be good. Um, wait, CCIV, that's what you guys want to see? I think that's a, 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 a news. Yeah, Churchill Capital. That's... that's did I... 
All right. So CCIV, they are merging, 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 merging. Pull up my video. Yeah, there we go. CCIV is merging with what? Lucid, Lucid Electric Vehicles, right? Let me know in the chat. All right. So they have an evaluation coming up. Oh, Pepsi. No, not Pepsi. Prospect Capital. Oh, PSEC. All right. All right. We'll get them. And then we'll look at Bitcoin too. Oh, Bitcoin. All right. So anyway, CCIV, they're merging with Lucid Vehicles, right? Tuesday, yes. With a, I think they're merging with a $15 billion, $15 billion market evaluation. If it goes to $15 billion market evaluation, I expect it to, the price to pull back a little bit after Tuesday. And then I'm going to pick up some shares of CCIV. But if they go in with a market evaluation of $12 million, like I think, like I hope. Nah, I don't hope that. If they go in with $12 million, $12 billion, that means your shares are going to be worth a lot more, which means that's going to drive up the price. And I might miss out on that opportunity. But if you come in at $15 billion market evaluation, your shares are going to be worth less. People are going to take their profits and sell. And then when they're selling, they're selling to me because that's going to be me picking up shares. Um, I don't mind picking up. Um, lucid vehicles, uh, lucid mur murder murders. I don't mind. I don't mind picking up uh lucid. I think they just finished a factory that they only took eight months to build, and then they're gonna start producing vehicles, high price vehicles. I think like one hundred and thirty five thousand dollar luxury vehicles, kind of like how Tesla started off. You gotta start off selling expensive vehicles. And then I got plans and work, I think 10 years from now to eventually produce a $25,000 electric vehicle car, $24,000 electric vehicle car. But they, they got to start off expensive around $135,000. And then I think the next car is $100,000. And then I think the car after that is going to be like ninety dollars or $80,000. So in the next 10 years, they expect to get out of vehicle around $25,000 for electric vehicle. But yeah, they, they, they start off, they're going to start off very expensive. So... 12 billion equals 75 dollars and 15 billion is 62 to 62 60 to 62 dollars yeah so if they come in at a 15 billion dollar market evaluation thanks uh matt health i really appreciate that if they come in there um oh 169 dollars for the first car <laughs> god dog what the hell who are they selling these cars to see man and I know it's a long play. I know it's a long term play, uh, ten year play. But God, dog, a hundred and sixty nine k. A former member of Tesla is being is behind losing more. Um, I mean, Tesla people go all over the place. I mean, they work at Tesla, they build their resume, and then they go off to start their own thing. Or they work at Apple, they do their own thing, and then they go off to work at some place. Or you start off at Google, you work at these major companies, Google, Tesla, Apple, and then you venture off. And usually, when you work with a successful company, when you go to another successful company, they want you to bring what you learn from them over to our company, and then you end up eventually being successful. But yeah, uh, Lucid... If it come in at fifteen billion dollar market evaluation, hopefully sixteen billion, I'm gonna pick up a couple of shares. I ain't gonna lie to you. I am gonna pick up a couple of shares of Lucid. But if it come in around ten to twelve billion dollars, I'm gonna wait on a pullback. I'm gonna wait on a pullback. Not gonna lie to you. Um, P sec. Look at P sec right quick. I think I did. I drop PSEC in the um, Discord. I didn't. All right, here go PSEC. Let's drive from here. All right. Oh, that's not what I'm looking for. All right, we about to pull out the Fibonacci right quick.
All right. So, CSEC is being driven by a lot of news and what's going on in the world. It is definitely overbought, but it's been overbought. It had a little pullback right there. It's been overbought again. Had a little pullback right there. Every time it's overbought, like really high, it has a little pullback. And once again, it's, it was overbought right here. So, it could be due for another pullback, but it's probably not going to be pulled back much due to that. Is 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 news driven and a lot of people are buying into it driving up the price is definitely overbought but once it it has a pull once it crosses on the macd right here yeah i'm waiting on the pull back as well i got a few shares of psec they, they pay a, a pretty sweet dividend i think that last dividend was right here six cents per share um they paid out january 21st and then they have an earnings right here they they beat their expectations on their earnings by 417 percent and then that next earnings is coming up. So, I mean, I mean, to to get some, just, I mean, it's $7.59. To get some, just to build out your portfolio before the um, new earnings on May, 20, May 12th, 2021, that'd be cool. But that's, that's, um, he's sick right there. I hope y'all can't hear them dogs in the we got 340 shares of CCIV. Wow. How? When? When? Three hundred forty shares. Yeah, I got a dog. I might need a dog to shut up. I don't know who dog that is. One of my neighbor's dogs. All right, so let's go ahead and pull up Bitcoin. Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Uh, oh. Ooh-wee. Look at that steep, steep, steep. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right, so Bitcoin, right here. Let's just get rid of this one. We're just gonna draw a little trend line on Bitcoin, but it do no matter how high. Oh crap! I hit the wrong button. All right, so no matter how high Bitcoin goes, eventually it always pull back to the 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 uptrend line of the 180 day of uh, the uh, 200 EMA right here, the green line. So it, it it did eventually have a little pullback all the way to forty one thousand and then shot up. But those are just like when bulls are buying or when bulls and sharks are selling. Like that that's the only way that it has those quick pullbacks. Um Bitcoin had hit an all time high of fifty five thousand. Right now it's around fifty one thousand. But eventually, I mean the green line's gonna continue to move up. So Bitcoin could pull back to around forty eight. Forty-seven thousand dollars, but um, due to the happening, I think that Bitcoin is going to reach an all-time high around mid-September um, because of the happening. If you guys don't know what the happening is, I have post. Um, Elon just uh, tweeted Doge again. He always tweeting. I think there's a bunch of people holding Doge that's preventing the price from going up because they're just holding on to it, but um. To have any so when you mine enough blocks of bitcoin they pay you out let's say 20 20 uh bitcoins for mining that block when the having it strikes now the miners only get paid out 10 bitcoin uh, per block which limited which limits the supply which raised the price of bitcoin because of the scarcity of it, right so the first bitcoin happening went from ten dollars to a hundred dollars the second bitcoin hap uh having happened it went from $1,500 to um, $25,000. And then the third one just happened. It went from around, what, $13,000 all the way up to $50,000. But um, based off of statistics, um, it usually takes 100, uh, 365 days from the having it. 365 to 385 days from the having it for it to reach another all-time high. And that'll be around September, mid-September. 
is when I'm going to sell uh some of my Bitcoin. I'm going to, I'm going to always keep some Bitcoin. But mid-September, I'm going to sell some of my Bitcoin, take profits. If it continues to go up, I don't care. I made profit. I'm not. But if it pulls back, I mean, I timed it really, really good. I, I made profit. And then when it pulls all the way back, I'm going to buy back into Bitcoin with the profit that I made. So that's my ideas on Bitcoin right there. Uh, drop some, drop some, um, some ticker symbols in the chat. We'll go over them live right now. Oh my bad. Let me go to my uh, Discord first. They get priority. If you guys want to join the Discord, click the link that's um pinned in the top of the chat. Let's see, let's see. They picking some stuff I ain't never heard of before. But we already went over CCIV. SOS. ARKQ. Look, we can look at Ripple, Apple. Take a quick look at Apple. I already know I got Apple up. We're gonna hurt that dog in the back. I ain't said joking. All right, here we go. Apple, Apple, Apple. That's good. That's a good look uh, right here. Okay, Apple. All right, so if you know what head and shoulders is, well, it's not really a head and shoulder. I mean, that could be a shoulder. Nah, it's not a head and shoulder. All right, let's draw some trend lines. Right. Then you draw a flag pattern. Alright, so it, it's showing a little uptrend line, uptrend flag pattern. It's gonna have to make a move soon. If it do breaks below this uptrend line, it's gonna pull back to the 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 support on the EMA. And then if it breaks below that, we could see Apple come back. A double bottom right here and reach around $110 per share but by the time they do that Apple's probably gonna announce some type of Apple's probably gonna announce some type of new product that comes out maybe the new MacBook uh, Pro with the M1 chips second version M1 X chips so by the time that comes out they're gonna uh and now something that raised the price right back up. In fact, I see them working on something like an external battery pack that's mag safe that 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 hooks on the back of the new iPhone. So that that would be something interesting right there. But yeah, um, it's gonna trade. It's gonna make a move pretty soon. It's either gonna trade in between these triangles. Hold on. My bad. Had some music playing in the background. All right, so. It's, it's, it's um, going to trade in between this flat pattern right here, this uptrend flat pattern right here until it eventually breaks above to go back to its all-time high of around $145. Or eventually break below. If it do break below, I could see it consolidating somewhere around the 180-day the simple moving average. I mean, 180-day EMA line. And the will it pull back to the $110 range? I don't know. If Apple pulls back to $110, I will be picking up some shares. Right now, let's look at the RSI. It is over, it's close to being oversold. So, it, like I said, it could stay inside of this flag pattern right here. But when we look at the MACD, when we're looking at the MACD right here, it's still, it, it hasn't crossed yet. So, 
it could still pull back until eventually the MACD crossing starts showing some green bars right there. E-A-L-E. Take a look at that. I don't know anything about VLE. What is this? Let me know in the chat. The MACD sounds like a pimp. <laughs> MACD. Kind of the Mac. Um, yeah, I don't know anything about Val on why it shot up so quick from around ten dollars. It's just a spec. Are they merging with somebody? I don't know anything about them. But just looking at it right quick. Not overbought yet. It's close to being overbought. Um about this right here. So it could show uh shoulder. Be a reverse head and shoulder, and right there, if it does that. Then it could price could do this action right here. Depending on if this is news driven or not, but it, it looks like it, it's setting up for a double top right here. When it get back to the double top, it could pull back. And then if it is a head and shoulder, it will explode back up. Go to another. AMD. So I am looking to pick, I am looking to buy AMD this week, actually. I am looking to buy AMD this week. Got a uh, super chat. Let's see. L K C O. Gotcha. L K C O. All right. So we're going to get the L K C O right after AMD. I'm going to look into it too. Autonomous driving or mortars in China. Ooh. All right, so AMD has been. I've been I've been selling premiums on AMD for about a month and a half, two months now. I've been making some pretty sweet passive income, almost four hundred dollars just from selling premiums on AMD because I do own a hundred shares. But AMD, I mean, we drew this out a long time ago. AMD, uh, move that over some more. They have been trading inside this little channel right here. Bam. Bam, bam. So it's looking like it's on the way back up. The MACD, <laughs> the MACD, you guys are funny. The MACD is looking like it's about to cross soon. If so, AMD could be on its way back up to around a hundred dollars. It do show a little downtrend right there. So that we're gonna have to do something about that. So AMD is going to probably go back up to around $92. So that's why I picked the strike up around, well, I picked my strike price, $97. I don't think it'll get there by Friday. If it does, I'll just roll it up and out. I'm not tripping. I know how to do all of that. I'm not, I'm not tripping. If you want to learn that, um, join the Discord. But uh, AMD is going to pull back up, probably come back down until it reaches somewhere around here where the... It's going to have to make a decision. So either it's going to break below the EMA line or it's going to break above and then start to trend back up. AMD is a great company. Um, NVIDIA just did something in the news with their GPUs that they really don't care about gamers. So AMD looks like they might have some more positive things in the news, even though it's hard to get a, a hold of their processors as well. A lot of bots and second uh, hand market sellers are buying up everything and selling them on eBay and stuff like that. So AMD could be a good buy this week. Actually, I mean, 80, 89 dollars is not a bad buy for AMD, but I would love to buy it a little cheaper because I am a long term believer in this great, awesome company. 
Okay, let's take a look at LKCO. All right, so it looked like they just announced who they was gonna merge with. I could, I could, <laughs> I could already tell. So it's not much to really look at. Um, you got in on a penny stock that announced some type of licensing for autonomous driving with um with Ford, right? On February 16th, is that when they announced the um the licensing deal? So that licensing that licensing deal uh drove that price all the way up from fifty seven cents to three dollars and eighty four cents. Then it had to pull back to around two dollars. Um what what you'll do if they did license them out and it's confirmed, one hundred percent confirmed. That they're going to be working with Ford in China, even though I think China is really, really big on Neo right now. But if they if they have a exclusive deal with them and they can't license out their technology with any other car company, if this is groundbreaking technology and they're only able to license it out to Ford, that sucks. But if this is groundbreaking technology and they're able to license it out to every other electric vehicle a car company that is out there, I could see the stock going up uh, a whole bunch, especially if it's groundbreaking. Is it lidar? Is it uh? Is it is it um? Lasers? What type of technology is it? Looking at the chat. Yeah, so this is this is something I'm. Let me add this on my um. Uh, oh, there we go. So I I added it on my watch list. I just added it on my watch list right there. So that's something definitely to watch. I'm gonna continue to watch that. Next time I do a live stream, I'm gonna make sure I figure out this stupid camera thing. I don't know why it's not working. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. But obviously, I'm doing something. I had it. That what I was supposed to do? Figure that out. Today Sunday. Will Attack on Titan come out today? That's what. That's the only question I need to. Know. Let's see if it works. I stream a little bit behind. Nope, that didn't work. All right. That's Nano Dimensions. Uh, Nano Dimensions, uh, Captain Wood, she buys a lot of this inside of her stock. Right there, we can see an easy double top right here. That's a resistance line. It's going to have a hard time breaking back above $17. Um, if she adds this inside of her portfolio, um, she adds this inside her portfolio often. And I've also been looking at Genome to add to my portfolio, but... This is a double tie right here. If it pulls all the way, it's not. If it pulls back to $12, I'm going to pick up a whole bunch of shares. If it pulls back to $12, somewhere around in this area right here, I'll pick up a whole bunch of shares to NNDM. Not too much. I don't know too much about this company, but I know that would be an awesome, a pretty awesome swing trade. In fact, guys, let me pull up. Um, This is Dollar General. This is another one that we've seen that was oversold. I told you guys in the other video, Dollar General. Did pull back a little bit and it's on the way back up. So it went to oversold. My bad. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I think I posted uh top oversold stocks in February. And I'll talk about Dollar General and that this might be an awesome swing trade. And so far it is. It is. Because we called it out right there at the very bottom. Called it out at the very bottom. Attack on Titan is not already out. I have not seen it yet. Today? Hope not. If so, this live stream might end a little soon. <laughs> I gotta go watch the episode. 
know what's going on. T AT and T. All right, so AT and T. Is that what you're talking about? Bam. All right. AT&T has been on a downtrend. In fact, man, you know what? I was looking at AT&T this morning. I really was. I was really looking at AT&T this morning. And I was like, this could be an awesome time to get in. And I know that they bought, like, what did they buy? Time Warner? They bought something with uh some streaming some streaming platform or some 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 content right so AT&T's been let's go all the way back out to the day chart ATT been on a downtrend for a couple for a while now this is the last days of AT&T so let's draw out this down all the way out now this is AT&T all the way back in February 2000 and 18 was not February 2021 no 2011 September 2011 so 10 years ago this is AT&T went all the way up pulling back and it's I mean they've been on a downtrend for a while and when companies are on a downtrend for a while I try to stay away from them but they do have a pretty sweet dividend but are they going to be able to grow their company by paying out such a high dividend? So something got to go. Either the, their dividend yield is right here, 7.17%. Either they're going to cut their dividends, which is going to hurt us so bad. Oh, it was, a, it was a direct TV deal, right? Yeah. It was a direct TV deal. You get $110 from AT&T quarterly. See, that's the thing. They're paying out. Their dividends are so high. Are they going to be able to grow their company? I know we see them as a, a cell phone provider company, but if we're thinking super, super long term and the world becomes Wi-Fi or the world becomes 5G, are you are we really going to need uh, AT&T for our cell phone provider when we could just already just connect to Wi-Fi and do everything that we want to do from Wi-Fi? I know when I was living in Canada, I didn't have a cell phone provider at all. I just used Wi-Fi when I was up there. Whenever I was at the facility or at home or at Starbucks, I would just use the Wi-Fi and, and, and talk to people that way. It was pretty simple. So we're thinking real, real long term. These cell phone provider companies are going to have to um, think about the future and, and how to expand that company. I know they bought Time Warner Cable. Oh, that Direct TV, my bad. Direct TV was years back, and they haven't done really nothing with it. Obviously, I mean the deal's going south. Go to the one hour chart. All right, so I mean the MACD is going down the RSI, but it looked like it might bounce off of the the simple moving the EMA right here. But I mean, based off statistics. It don't even care about that. It just goes up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. If you want to get on at t thinking that they can grow a lot in the future and you want to grow your dividend portfolio, $28.99 is an awesome price to get at t It is an awesome price to get at t Is it the bottom? Who knows? Could it go even lower? Who knows? But if you get it right here and then it goes all the way back up to $50, you won because now you're going to be making all of that money from your gains and you're going to be making a ton of money from dividends. They just pay such a high dividend that I'm really not sure how they're going to grow their company. I, I got to pay more attention to at t because I do have them inside my portfolio and I like to know everything about every company inside my portfolio that I'm holding long term. So I got to pay more attention to at t What do you think about AMC stock? Fuck AMC. Nah, AMC got a long way to go. Will they bounce back? I don't know, man. A lot of streaming companies like um, Disney, um, Lucasfilms, uh, Marvel, 
Netflix. I mean, people going straight to streaming. I don't even think they're and they're making a lot more money going straight to streaming than they are putting it inside movie theaters. So I don't know. Movie theaters might be stuck out for a while. Might be stuck out for a while. ABBV, IIPR, IIPR. Oh my God, have y'all seen IIPR? IIPR doubled the last year. Uh, IIPR is a stock company. Oh, let me put on my video. IIPR is a weed company. Well, they lease out, they lease out land to weed companies and then sell that, uh, and then they rent it back to those growers. And then they're one of the only medical marijuana industry type stocks that's that's paying dividends. And their 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 price have been going up a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch. So I love IPR. In fact, a lot of weed company stocks has been going up a lot over the last couple of days. Sundial. AMC is obsolete. I I think so. I think they are because alright. Alright. Man, these companies going straight to streaming, bro. They're going straight to Amazon Prime, straight to uh Disney Plus, straight to HBO Max. Um, Lucasfilm and Marvel going straight to their platforms, straight to Netflix, straight to Hulu. It's like, and then I right, understand. All right, so if these companies was going straight to streaming, right, and then they wasn't performing good at all, AMC would be like, okay, we got the upper hand. Y'all went straight to streaming, and y'all not making no money. Y'all need us. AMC would be a great buy. But the very first time they went straight to streaming, I think it was what. Trolls, the movie, like the little the cartoon movie, Stro uh, Trolls or something like that, with the little singing little monsters, they broke records going straight to streaming. And then every company after that was like, she, all right, we're going to go straight to streaming too. So they went straight to streaming, breaking records, breaking records, breaking records. Uh, I think they just put out the movie Pixar, put out Soul, broke a record. Man, AMC done for. Y'all can invest into AMC if you want to. I'm good. AMC was just a buy because of, uh, everybody was trying to get back at the short sellers. That's all AMC was. Yeah, I, I used to like going, everybody used to love going to the movies. But the thing is, next time I go to the movies is to watch Demon Slayer, the train movie. Once they come out, I'm going. I don't know how, but they playing in America somewhere. I'm gonna go check that out. I can't. I can't even wait. When they come out. I'm gonna go see it. Once again, guys, if you want to join the Discord, I left a pin comment at the top. Go join that. Um, I drop great knowledge over there. You'll have access to my portfolio when I buy and sell stocks, when I buy and sell options, uh, my, my premiums, when I'm uh, doing a wheel strategy. And I also post, what I post over there? All these market analysis pictures I post over there in the Discord as well. And that's pretty much the simplest way to contact me, Patreon, your message. Go straight to my phone, but then I right back. That's over there on Patreon. All right, let's do one more. NRZ has great dividends. Yes, I was in on NRZ before the crash. NRZ, I had a whole bunch of NRZ, and then it crashed all the way down to the bottom. I was like, well, it's a real estate company. I'm going to double down, so I bought a lot more of NRZ uh, when it crashed all the way down at the bottom, and I caught it at the bottom. Because NRZ, before the crash, their dividends was uh, 14.07. So they had a dividend year of 14.07. And I was making bank. And then when they crashed, they cut their dividends down to like 3%. I was like, dang. And now they're recovering. I think their dividends is back up to like 7% or something like that. So that's uh, NRZ. Sony bought both Funimation and Country Road. Yeah, I hope they don't mess up anime, bro. I really love anime. I really do. 
with them buying Funimation and Country Road, I'm only gonna do some messed up stuff, punch them in the face. A B B B. I'm gonna check that out. Home Depot price pullback. So, hope so. Oh, and then we're gonna look at the oversold stocks for this week. Give me one second. Let me look up A B B B. Thought we already did that. Happy. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. One hour chart. Four hours. Hour chart. Earnings just came. How did they do on the earnings? Ooh, they missed expectations. Uh, point. Uh, 2.84. Estimated was 2.85. Yeah. Yeah. They beat their last earnings. They beat their other earnings. Beat these earnings. Draw a little fibonacci. We do for a little pullback. 104, 101, ABBV could, and they got a decent dividend of 5%. They could pull back a little bit. It is on downtrend. But not right there. They got to make a move soon. They got to make a move soon. Either up or down. I think they're going to pull back some all the way to the the uh EMA the exponential moving average. I think it's gonna pull it back to that. So around a hundred and one, a hundred dollars. Right now it's at oh five, so that's A B B V. Alright, so let me show y'all let me show y'all one of the top oversold stocks right quick. We're going to go to Weeble. If you don't have Weeble, that link is in the description. All right. We're going to click on menu. I don't even know if y'all can see it. Uh, nah, we're not going to click on menu. I left a tutorial to this in, what, two videos ago? Two videos ago on how to find the top oversold stocks. Click on screeners, oversold 16, market cap. All right, so Apple's oversold, Tesla oversold. Let's take a look at Facebook because we already went over Apple and Tesla. So let's take a look at Facebook. Look at some of FB. This will be the last one. Now I got to get ready. Go watch some attack on Titan Facebook. All right. Facebook is pull back. Boom. Boom. There. Got to the top of the candles, top of the candles, top of the candles. Got the Fibonacci. All right, so Facebook, it's not quite oversold. The MACD is crossing down, so it could definitely pull. My bad, it could definitely pull all the way back to one hundred and two hundred and forty-five dollars. Right now, it's at two hundred and sixty-one dollars. So I could pull back to two hundred and forty-five. That would be a good time to book to get in if you're not already in on Facebook. But if it do pull back to the golden zone anywhere inside the golden zone, that'd be a good time to pull back in. Facebook on all the social media network and they have access to so much um user information that they they they're gonna find a way to recover. You ain't gotta worry about Facebook pretty much. They're gonna find a way to recover. So that's that's Facebook. So pulling back inside anywhere inside the golden zone for anyone that's not already in on Facebook, that'd be a good time to get in. Me, I own I think I own one share of Facebook. 
and I got in at like a hundred dollars. So if it pulls back to two hundred and forty-five, it won't be another bad buying opportunity. But it is. Um, it had a high, a lower high, a lower high, a lower high, a lower high, and then it's probably going to have another lower high. Plan on this downtrend line right here until it eventually breaks above, and then we'll come back to the charts and then we'll reanalyze uh, the charts. So that's that's it, guys. Waste management. We'll get to waste management next time, or I'll just drop waste management over in the Discord for everybody um, later on tonight before the market opens tomorrow. So if you want to look at that, just go ahead, and click the link uh, that I pinned at the top of the um, chat. Or it's the link in the Discord, or it's the link in the um, description, my bad, if y'all want to catch up on waste management, if you want to see that. But, oh crap, my video. Let's see if that works. But yeah, guys, that, that's, that's it. Until next time, I'm going to figure out this camera situation. Oh, oh I got to figure out this camera situation. This sucks. But other than that, man, I'm Zeke. Let's go watch some Attack on Titan. I'm going to holler at y'all later. And I'm out. Peace. How you stay.